Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. And we're live. And we're live. Here we are. How's everybody doing? Um, yeah, here I am. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that um, I purposely didn't play my new intro that is just so dear to my heart <laughs> that Kelly made me. And uh, it makes me smile. It makes me laugh. It makes me teary. Because um, today, guys, I'm not laughing. Um, you guys know how I love to laugh, especially those that are with me every single day. I love, love, love to laugh. Um, I'm not laughing now. Um, I've watched the video in question twice. I did see it a few days ago. Um, it has been in existence for weeks and I, I guess it was a Patreon, um, feature and, and by the way, the link is, the link is in the video, um, this video below to it. And, um, I don't know why it was just kind of hidden or whatever. I guess it was a Patreon thing. It must've been one of their Patreon, um, patrons that shared the link. It was unlisted on YouTube. And, um, I guess it dropped this morning, afternoon. I'm not sure what they call it in, in the UK, but uh, here it is and here we are. So I'm not going into this cold. I've been carrying this for for days. Um, I'm not going to go over and over and over um, the same old, same old. Um, also, if if anyone has, has seen Natalie Webster's uh, Life After a Cult, uh, her, her stream this morning was very well done. She played uh, so many great clips. I won't say great, but um, very important, pertinent clips of that um, of that video. So I'm not going to go over that. Um, if you go over that, I would suggest please watch the entire video um, with an open mind. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind here. Um, I just want to say also, I am not a journalist. I am not um, anybody special. I'm just you know, a mom, a middle-aged crochet lady who happens to have a YouTube channel and happens to care about this community and happens to care about uh, essay victims and and survivors and cult survivors and any trauma survivors. I care. I do care because I've been through it. So that's in the capacity that I'm here right now. <clears throat> um, before I get into talking about some thoughts, um, I will give commentary. I want to um, get your input as always. Please, if you really want your comment read, um, question, comment. You know, I'm, I don't push for super chats, but they do. They do get started. Um, I have um, my dream team. And, <laughs> sorry, my two, um, my backbones um, in the backstage. My husband Duncan at Freeze and Eagle, and uh, at Kellycopter. And um, if it wasn't for them, I couldn't do this right now. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking, I'm being very mindful of um, someone named Miriam, Miriam Francis. She's gone through a hell. She's gone through hell, guys. And um, I guess this was the answer um to her questions. This video. Um, for, before I, um, oh, I should say, just please put comment or question. If you have a comment or question, um, you can put your spatulas away guys. <laughs> Glad I didn't make any pitchforks because we're not, we're not about that. Right. Um, yeah, please be respectful. I don't want any name calling, um, hitting below the belt. Please don't do that. You know, I don't want a big mob either way. Disagreements are fine as long as you're respectful. And uh, thank you so much to all the mods in here and every support person. Uh, thank you, Dr. Who Heather. Trigger warning. Yes, very sensitive topics. Thank you so much, all the mods. Thank you. Yes. Um, sensitive topics may be discussed. If you need to, please step away and we will see you in the next live. <clears throat> Take care of yourselves among, above all else. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. 
again, I keep trying to say the same sentence. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm laughing at myself. I'm not laughing at this. I want to, um, before I go into my grinder, I want to uh, talk a little bit about some thoughts I had while watching the interview twice about John Atac. And I'm not attacking Atac. I'm sorry, I'm laughing just because of how his, how his name is, is spelled. Um, not attacking him. I just want to provide um, just, you know, a point of view, an opinion for whatever it's worth. I, um, I've watched many of his videos and I've actually really enjoyed his videos. I think he's very smart. I think he's um, very well respected. I think um, I've learned from him. I've learned some, some great things from him. Um, but it doesn't mean I just mindlessly agree with everything anybody says that I respect. Same goes for Aaron, you know? <laughs> um, I'll tell well, Kelly and I will take the piss out of him when his curtains are too short and anything else. So that's what I got to say about that. Um, <clears throat> where do I want to start? I want to know, um, there is a, probably a snowball chance in hell that John Atak knows who I am and that's fine. I don't really care. Um, or that he would ever listen to this, but I want to know, my first question is what, in what capacity, what hat, to use a Scientology term, what um, capacity was this, um, what role did he have in this interview? Is he a journalist? I, I don't know. Um, is he doing it as Mike's friend, just like moral support? Um, is he doing it as representative of the board of the aftermath? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I do have quite a few um, timestamps, but... So I'm not fumbling. Um, I'm not want to quote anybody. I'll just make reference to them. There are some I really do want to play, which I will. Um, and I can always put the timestamps in in the um, in the. I'm sorry, I'm I'm stumbling, guys, because I guess I'm nervous. I'm gonna be honest. Um, in the description below. Also, um, make sure you just watch it yourself. And I would highly recommend watching Natalie's stream, Natalie Webster's stream. So, um. That said, I want to play a little bit of this, if you don't mind. Okay, one second, guys. I just want to make sure I don't have it on super high speed. And I promise I will get to your questions and comments. Okay, I'm at 175. I better, I better back it off a little bit. <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to play some of the opener, actually, um, and stop it a few times. Okay. All right. Can you see that? Okay. And this is Hello everybody. I'm John Atak and this is Mike Rinder. Hi Mike. Hi John. So nice to see you again after so oh, long. It's been, it's been, been a bit a of a delay. Oh sorry, I don't know what's happening. Sorry guys. Not sure what happened with that. I'll have to fix I'll have to fix that. Um I'll just uh, explain what I wanted to um, point out about the very beginning. Johnny Tech says that um, it is his is his wish that he will not take sides. Um, he does mention the issue with Aaron, um, and I'm not sure what that has has to do with Miriam because it kind of was like showing sides. I don't want to misquote anything. I wish I had fixed that. What why the screen wasn't working, but. Um, in the beginning of the video, he says he doesn't wish to take sides. Towards the end, he says something very along the lines of that he's throwing his lot in with Mike Rinder. Um, I know it was based on the context of him looking at all the evidence. He said he spent, you know, two months looking at the evidence. He spent 40 years um, 
exposing Scientology. He's um, ghost written, um, I don't know, every book that has ever been made. <laughs> I mean, he's just done so much, you know, um, and great. That's great. That's great. Um, I just want to say a couple things about, um, and if you, if you don't mind, if you will indulge me, I really want to try to get, um, the timestamps for you. All right. Okay. One sec, guys. Okay. Try this again. Make sure I got the volume on. I think it's important to um, be accurate. So. I don't know what's happening, guys. I will try that one more time. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, try this again. Thank you for your patience. Okay, let's see. See, we can do this. Make this happen. Make it go right. Uh, you know, we, this is, I believe, our thirteenth, and I hope it's going to be lucky. I, th I think it's our thirteenth conversation on record. <laughs> Can you hear um, it? Um, so I, th I think I know you reasonably well, and and I think I'd be right in saying that you're a relatively intelligent human being. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> um, so the idea that if you were yourself guilty of an offence or a cover-up of an offence. By fighting to get the statutes of limitations lifted, you would be putting yourself in the firing line if you were guilty. That's correct? Yes, that's correct, obviously. It would be deeply irrational. Yes. Um, I mean, but you it, were in Scientology. So, you know. <laughs> I, I have done irrational things in my life, John. I, you know, I continue to do irrational things, um, but that one would take some real... Um, that one would take some real, like I'd have to be hit over the head a few times with a hammer before mm -hmm. that would be something that I wouldn't recognize was not uh, probably the brightest move. Yeah. And in this specific case, Miriam Francis. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to point out a couple things here real quick. First of all, <clears throat> there's a lot of levity, a lot of laughing. Um, there's, to me, I, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing a lot of glad handing, you know, like, hey, hey, here we are again. I talked to you like 13 times, whatever. Um, and where he was asking him questions, I mean, I don't know if he has any any background in, in law, in court of law. Sounds like a defense lawyer. Sounds like he's leading him to um, say, oh, would that be correct? Like, you know, if you were, and, and this was in the context of um, him being on the board of Trial USA, which works to, which is wonderful that they they work to get the the statute of limitations um you know taken away or whatever canceled in many states and i think that's great i think that's great um but i think it's i'm not sure if that's uh, a defense it just seems like there's so many things that john is quote asking him such as several of the clips that that we saw Natalie show this morning, um, almost like if if you're asking somebody if they saw somebody rob, rob a bank, but then you're like, did you rob a bank? Um, no, no, I didn't. And I didn't see anybody rob one either. It's almost like, you know, uh, deflecting, like making it sound so terrible. Have you ever um, criminally assaulted a child is one of the questions that he asks. And then he kind of backs off and he's just like, oh, well, you know, of course not. And they actually laugh, kind of chuckle. Huh? Of course not. <laughs> um, again, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Um, <clears throat> I heard a lot of a lot of resumes on, on both sides. Um, and 
there's one thing I do want to play. Sorry, guys. I will see what I can do here. Add to Sage. Okay. Oh, thank you, Cal. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> All right. Um, and I'm skipping around here because I don't want to keep you guys for hours and hours and hours. I know you you don't have all day. So he does talk about um, how he didn't know things um, that happened. He talks about Miriam's case. He talks about a lot of stuff. You can you can uh, listen to it. And uh, about an hour in, which I thought was interesting. Um, one sec. Let me just make sure I have the right. Okay. Alrighty. witness anybody who wants to come forward to contact Miriam and give her the information they have and if charges are to be filed they should be filed if there are no charges to be filed then you are innocent until proven guilty so I just like to emphasize that and go back to the beginning of the conversation there are perhaps 4,000 slaves in Scientology they should be our focus and all of the crimes should be our focus. But these people are on a daily basis right now being harmed. That's why the Aftermath Foundation came into being, which was started by Luis Garcia and Aaron Smith-Levin, yeah? Uh, yeah? That's shorthanding, yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, and me. Okay. Because the reason... Did you hear that? Just want, want you to get that straight. Um, shorthanded, and actually, and me that's called the aftermath foundation is because it was the the effort was to get me and leah both involved in it and okay we were the sort of impetus for it anyway i didn't even want to get into that in great detail uh yeah okay the so the aftermath foundation started yeah. yes yes you were a, a part of beginning that and and the objective of the aftermath foundation is to help people to escape from scientology and to help them to recover from scientology and a lot of people have been helped and hopefully a lot more will be um i you know i've known you for what three four years now nothing you have ever said to me has proved to be untrue Thank you, John. I, I appreciate that. That uh, I try to be as as absolutely uh, frank and honest and straightforward as I possibly can. I know that. Okay. So we have that. Um. And you know, to be to be totally fair, I I think that. John A. Tech made some good points. Yes, people are innocent until proven guilty. Um, I also think that it would have done them well to actually listen and have some compassion and empathy, especially Mike. Um, whether or not he knew about things, um, I guess, you know, that, that we're not sure of, but I think that um, the lack of compassion and the kind of attitude and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna show a couple other things that that i believe um are telltale signs that they're not really um showing empathy and uh, compassion towards miriam and that's who i'm throwing my lot in with um okay One sec, guys. And, <laughs> you know, I wrote about that on my blog. You know, when it, it's not, not that um, hard to uh, whatever. I wrote about it on my blog. But there are people... He's referencing the keyboard warriors comment. That there are two categories of people in this world of former Scientologists or activists or 
ex-Scientologists or anti-Scientologists, however you want to categorize it. There are those who do the work and there are those who comment on the people doing the work. Hmm. And a lot of, and that doesn't necessarily mean that the, the comment. <clears throat> okay, so there's two people in the world, um, two types of people, those who do the work and those who comment on the work. Um, so I guess if you do it, you can't comment on it. And if you comment, you're not doing anything. Um, sounds like black and white thinking. Uh, what else shows black and white thinking? Um, I don't know. Cults? Just saying. Doesn't have to be one or the other. Okay, one more clip. Thank you so much, guys, for being patient. I just want to show you... Um, Actually, the very end. Calling David Miscavige the asthmatic dwarf or stuff like this. This is, you know, there's serious business here. There are people who need help. I just want to point something out. Um, you're talking about people calling uh, David Miscavige the asthmatic dwarf. Not sure what he's referencing. I, I, you know, venture to say possibly um, it's a dig towards, you know, maybe Aaron Smith Levin because he likes to um, make fun of David Miscavige. It's like I like to make fun of uh, my cult leader, ex cult leader. Um, yeah, I do recall though, I want to just point out that uh, Mike's very good friends, uh, Mike and Claire, Mark, I'm sorry, Mark and Claire Headley, one of the first introductions I had to them was their, I don't know if it was Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights, was their weekly shoots in their uh, bobblehead, you know, contest. And I don't know, did they make fun of an asthmatic dwarf? I kind of think they did. I didn't see Aaron any, um, any of those weeks, I don't believe. That was those two. So I just want to point that out. I know it might sound petty, but hey, you know, truth is, truth is the truth. And uh, I'm kind of sick of this virtual sig virtue signaling thing. And so we should take the view of, of tolerance and kindness um, and expose those who have committed the crimes. And if that was Mike and I have no evidence that would stand up in a court of law, but if you have that evidence, provide it to Miriam and we'll go with it. And let's also... I would just add to that, John. Yeah. You don't even have to provide it to Miriam. Go to law enforcement. Mm. <laughs> go... You, you know, it's it's not Miriam isn't the the central collector of no. all uh, of all criminal activities of Mike mm. Rinder. That go to law enforcement, go yep. to the FBI, go mm. to wherever, go to your local police department. Yep. Uh, go do it. Mm. You know, I'm 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 one hundred percent in support of this. Okay, so that so that's fair, but please listen to the next comment campaign. Okay, the campaign to get Mike Rind. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Let's lynch him. Let's just lynch him. And does anybody find that funny? Does anybody find that funny? Um, number one, they're saying there's a campaign to to get rid of Mike uh, Rinda, and um, let's using that word. I don't like to even use that word. Um, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Not bother with the facts, you know. Don't bother with the facts, guys. Don't bother with the facts. Oh, yep. A great pleasure as ever. Thanks so much, Mike. You're very welcome, John. Lovely to see you again. Hi, John here. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Okay. <clears throat> so... I wanted to just point out uh, those few things um, because I really think that I believe strongly that your tone and your attitude many times is just as important as your words that come out of your, your mouth, right? I do. I believe that. And um, I don't know. I, I just, it was very hard for me to um, take what they said as really meaningful because of the <laughs> around it and that thing that they said at the end i was like that's how they're going to end it that's how they're going to end it again i feel like it's the fleas and talks thing again 
I feel like it's the fleas and dogs thing again. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Shut up, Marilyn. So, never shut up. <laughs> never shut up. But Okay, guys. Um, thank you all for being here. I appreciate every one of you. Even uh, the ones that say I'm doing this for clicks, I'm sure. Um, the extra clicks that are that are clicking right now. Um, if you're here and, you, and you're just saying I'm doing for clicks, I don't need your click. Uh, go away. I don't need your click. Really, I don't want it. That's not why I'm doing this. Okay. All right. Uh, please stand by for a little sip of water before I start going through the comments. Okay. We got Joel McCoy. Hi there, Joel. Comment. A wise man knows when to shut up. A fool never shuts up. If you find yourself defending your position over and over, maybe you're in the wrong position. Being driven by ego never works. Mary Reno. Comment. I'm beyond upset for Miriam after watching the entire, entire video early this morning. Jennifer Marie Joyce, comment, just love to everyone like that. Thank you so much. Lena in love, comment, oh, Marilyn, I just want to give you a huge polar bear hug. <laughs> Thank you. Loads of unconditional love from Arctic <laughs> Love Islands. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's send Miriam some, some love. Let's send Miriam some love in the chat. Um, I don't, I don't know if she'll see this, but, um, I, I don't know. I think, I think good vibes are, are good. I think, I think sometimes good vibes help whether someone knows it or not. You know, I think there's maybe something out there, some, some good energy that we can send her way, you know, dawned on me comment when a person repeatedly shows you who they are, believe them. Mike Rinder has shown who he is numerous times. I have to agree with that, actually. Um, and I have I have said publicly that I went back and forth with him with emails um, a few weeks ago, several, several times. I was sent many long, long, long emails. I've only shared a tiny snippet of them because I was called a liar by Mark Headley in Discord. Um, there's other things I haven't spoken of. And uh, if, you know, if I'm challenged on them, I will share them. But um, I can tell you um, that I did I, can, I agree with that, that when someone shows you who they are, believe them. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with, with what I've discovered um, of someone's modus operandi, attitude, and um, yeah, I'm not impressed. Okay. Buffy Summers, I have no idea who this John A. Tech person is. He is an ex-scientologist. I... Not sure. I believe. I don't think he was in the Sea Org. I think he was possibly a public. Um, go on his channel. Uh, check it out. He does have a lot of good things to say, and uh, he'll tell you who he is. He loves to tell to tell everybody about all the books that he's goats written, all of his years that he's done everything. There we go. Piece of blue sky. Uh, OG in the X Scientology community. Thank you. That's who he is. Yep. Yep. And he does have a lot of good things to say. And. Yeah, he he does love to to tell you. So go ahead, check it out. Rhonda W comment. Aaron gave kudos that you made emojis for him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, here's some more emojis, <laughs> and he called me, and we actually walked through it. So, and did you guys notice that um he uh, he worked really hard trying to get you know, the right angle. And he, he did listen to the, um, the beef video <laughs> that Kelly and I did. And, uh, yeah, I told him that he had, a, he had a really big fan, um, that broke in and told us what for. So yes. Good old AA Ron. See, you know, he takes correction. <laughs> we keep him in line around here. That AA Ron. Christy, uh, 54, 321. Comment. I literally just finished watching watching that video before you started this live. Unbelievable. 
I took it from, we're done with this topic. We don't care. And oh, by the way, we can't be blamed. I hear you. Uh, Carrie Ann, Marilyn, you don't need to be nervous. You're doing an amazing job. We are all here because we respect you. Thank you so much, Carrie Ann. Um, thank you for all your patience because <laughs> I'm bumbling <laughs> with all this screen sharing. But um, I I wanted to just uh, kind of maybe fill in the gaps with some thoughts I had and, and see what yours are. <laughs> Mischief Manage, Marilyn, you're the emoji queen. I Guys, um, like I told you, I love to laugh. I love to laugh. And uh, I got some real good ones for tomorrow, I think. I want I want to see what your opinion is. But um, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow and be business as usual. But what do we do, guys? When things happen in this community, we talk about them. We talk about the happy things, the sad things, the things that burn your biscuits, the things that warm your heart. We just talk about it. We talk about, um, you know, recovery. We talk about thoughts and feelings and and hardships and victories and wins and all that. Um, we talk about fighting cults and especially Scientology right now. We talk about it all. So I'm not going to be told that we can't talk about something, right? And tomorrow we're going to have fun. And Monday, um, Farrell Cheryl will, will be on with me. And I, I have it right here. We're going to uh, do the thing with the Marmite and the Auntie's spotted, spotted dick steam puds, puds. I'm not sure how to spell it. So we'll do that. So thanks, guys. Okay. Yes, one love comment. Johnny Tech is the author of A Piece of Blue Sky and is an OG in the ex-Scientology community. You know, yes, absolutely. Um, he has done some great work. He really has. Literally cherry bakewell. I stand with Miriam, no gatekeepers, no apologists, no enablers. <clears throat> Hashtag, I stand with Miriam, no gatekeepers, no apologists, no enablers. Thank you, Cherry Bakewell, literally. Uh, we got Pippi Long, that <laughs> just makes me smile. Pippi Longstocking forever. Comment. Thank you, Marilyn, for holding space. I'm sad after the render ATAC video. Most of it was so wrong. I hear you. Doctor Who Heather, dead air is okay. Dead agenting, dead, dead agenting, can we say it? It's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've uh I've received a I've received two pretty big whopping dead agent packs on people. And I don't like those. Those are not okay. Not okay. Okay at all with me. Mischief manage comment under 10 seconds of that video, and I already sounds like they're reading a script. Yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I soon K. Oh, I, I, I keep saying K because it used to be I soon K. Comment in Reese's words, I see a lot of dick swinging going on. Yeah, I see a lot of Rodney swinging. I can agree with that. Pippi long stocking forever comment. And I used to learn from John a tech videos. I feel betrayed. It was dishonest in my opinion. I hear you. And uh, yeah, I did. I did learn a lot from John as well. Um, and nobody can take away from that, but you know, time to call a spade a spade, right? Um, we just, we just want the truth. And I'm not saying that, that Mike committed these terrible crimes and he knows about them. I'm, to me, like I don't know. Um I I do believe those who who do have information or feel like they, they do know. Um I I just don't have all the facts, but I will say that more importantly to me is is the attitude and the posturing and the, the lack of compassion, the lack of listening and consideration. And I'm going to say this right now because this does burn my biscuits, guys, is these are two people that are on the Aftermath Foundation, which is a, a public charity that is vowed to help people like Miriam. And now there's other found, um, foundations coming up that are that are picking up the slack. There's other um, fundraisers going on to help people um, get help and therapy. And that's not to say that the Aftermath Foundation won't go on and do great things fine. But, um, like I said last week, I'm, you know, I'm over it. I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I wish them well, but I'm moving on. And, uh, 
I'm not seeing a lot of change. I'm not seeing a lot of change here. Mary Reno, comment. <clears throat> oh my God, thank you, Marilyn. I thought the laughing was so inappropriate and creepy. Me too. It actually made me feel ill. It actually made me feel ill. Um, like really? Yeah, that that just hurt me um to the core. It did. Um, Joe McCoyne, comment. I've been suspect of John Atack for some time. Anyone who proclaims themselves as an expert never are. I find him smug and arrogant. I hear you. I do hear you. Mandy Me, was he ever audited by a child? Oh, that would be abuse. He had people under him in the Sea Org who were children. That is abuse. Yeah, I agree with you, Mandy. I do. And yeah. I'll leave it at that, but I agree. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Larry. Gifted a, a membership. So I have a new cub. Thank you so much. I love it when I get a new cub. I get so excited. Thank you. That's amazing. Mandy Gonzalez. Hey, Mandy. Comment. <clears throat> Did Mike Render write the script or give John some bullet points on how to lead the conversation? I hear a lot of support for Mike Render, but not a lot of support for the actual victim who is Miriam. Yeah. I do want to read, um, Natalie read out her entire comment about the video and Mike Rinder, but I do actually, I do have that up. I believe I want to take us a minute and read her comment that was pretty much directed to, Oh, I don't know if I can find it now. Uh, directed to John Atak himself. See if I can find it, guys. I can put it up. Um, yeah, Kel, I don't know if you could find it for me. I hate to ask you, but if you could find that. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, it was like a, um, an addition to her comment from, <clears throat> from that video. Okay, I can keep going on this. Cuddly Floofage, comment. Render is a top to toe, top to toe liar. His eye contact, head movements, closed eyes are so blatant. I'm for forensically educated, by the way. <clears throat> it's like watching a potent election video and in insults our intelligence. Um, Cuddly Floofage, I love your name, by the way. Um. I'll be honest, when I the first time I watched it, I was like, I wish I I wish I had like a body language expert right next to me because I I don't know. I don't want to um, you know, be uh have the 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 pitchforks or saying the the L word. Um I'm still pissed that I that he said that uh about anybody who questions Mike Render. But that's just me, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, it would have been nice to have you a uh, cuddly floofage next to me <laughs> explaining some of these things. Yep. M71. Attorneys in courts assume innocent until proven guilty. The general public is under no obligation to assume innocence. Um, yeah. Point taken. And um, I would say this. Um, as far as the court of public opinion go, I think Miriam won that case hands down by a landslide. Um, yeah, I think she did. So, uh, yeah. So maybe we don't even need to be doing this because, uh, Miriam has tons of support, but again, I don't want to forget. So, um, when they, they come out with something like this, basically <laughs> smugly, let me get the victims. Oh, oh, oh I, I wrote every book that ever was that I didn't get any credit for. Oh, 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 how about you, Mike? Oh, I regret. Like, that just doesn't impress me, and I'm going to call it out. I'm going to call it out. Uh, I soon uh, says, comment, the way his face distorted when John says, haunted by Luis and Aaron. Yep, I, I picked up on that too, majorly. His disdain is so huge, you would think Aaron... Uh, unalived Mike's relatives or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
it really is a like what is that Hatfield and McCoy's thing? It's just this nasty vendetta, honestly. And I'll say this much. And you know, when I say this, I kind of hesitate to say it, but I'm saying it anyways. Um, you know, those, those emails I was talking about, whether you want to believe me or not, a lot of it had to do with his personal vendetta against Aaron and not a lot to do with the actual um, issues that I was, I was asking him about. Um, so yeah, it's like, he's just, the rage, like he's blind, he's blinded by his personal rage. And that's just my opinion. That's my opinion. Just can't get past his own grudge. Dr. Who Heather comment. <clears throat> so by that logic, Scientology was one of the founders of the Aftermath Foundation because they were the inspiration. Point taken. <laughs> Point taken. I, I get what you're saying. Tamber June comment. Seeing this, I would not be happy if I was on the board of any nonprofits dealing with vulnerable people if you won't be vulnerable and honest yourself. I hear you. I hear you. And honestly, the fact that there's a public charity involved and you got two board members of it, I don't know. It just, it all, it just reeks, as, as my husband would say. Like, that just reeks, you know? It just, mm, yeah. I don't know. I smell a rat. I just do. Uh, D, hi there. Comment. Ask the right questions to see if the truth comes out. In his interview with Stephen Hassan last year, he said he would not apologize to any victims as Hassan said he had done that. Um, is he? I'm not sure who he is, if it's Mike Rinder or uh, A Attack. I assume it was Mike Rinder. Okay, sorry, guys. Maybe we can go back to that. I'll, I'll leave it start. <clears throat> Susie Bratt. Hey there. Uh, comment. Mike really, really loves his echo chamber. I hear you. I hear you. And, you know, this is not an echo chamber. If anybody disagrees, please, that's fine. As long as you're respectful and, uh, you know, don't call names or or spam malicious opinions that, that are really um, just here to cause trouble. Come on, you know, I, I'm fine with it. And I will definitely pop it up. Um, Kelly and I popped up the comments the other day. A lady, you know, calling us jealous bitches and saying she hopes uh Aaron came back to bite her asses. <laughs> Kelly's like, <laughs> and we put we put it up and it, yeah, we put it right up there. And uh want to apologize to Janet uh personally um for for laughing, but it just yeah, it just struck me, <laughs> struck me funny. <laughs> but yeah, we'll put it up. I'll put it up. <laughs> I did not do that. <laughs> Kelly's having too much fun. Don't, don't, don't encourage her down there. He's laughing too. <laughs> oh boy. I think that was a double clown too. Um, um, comment. That is literally like saying there are those who work the counter and those, those are by the product. One does not exist without the other. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not going to speak for Natalie, but I was offended for her because that girl, lady, woman, um, amazing person, she works her, her she, she works her fucking ass off, guys. She works her blooming arse off every day. Yes, she comments on on things, but she's doing the too. So, so that's what I have to say about that. It's just it, you know, having black and white thinking. Well, who does that? Girls, girls do that. Sorry, that's just for my biscuits. <laughs> um, uh, I soon uh, comment. Still shitting all over the keyboard warriors. How can he do the work if people won't wouldn't give him the funds? Yeah, um, and he's taking lots of funds for himself. Um, contrary to what he said, I uh, believe. I'm pretty sure um, he got paid for the Aftermath show. He gets paid for consulting. Um, he gets paid for his book. He gets paid um, when he um, sells copies, extra copies of his signature. Um, he got paid pretty uh, pretty well on his YouTube channel until people got his number and uh, unsubscribed. I mean, I'm sure he still has people supporting him. So, yeah, um, as far as funds, uh, Shitting all over the keyboard warriors. Um, yeah. Who's to say 
we're not doing the work, you know, who's to say not him. Um, yeah, that, that burned my biscuits too, guys. Solicitous. Hi there. Comment. The viewers and those who comment are donors slash potential donors. Mike Render needs to remember that. Yep. He seems to have forgotten that. And, uh, I don't know. I thought maybe it would be a wake up call, but I, I guess not. I, I'm not sure about that. Tracy Murphy comment. Those commenting are the same people who gave tens of thousands of dollars to fund the Aftermath Foundation. Uh, I'm going to read that again for those in the back. Comment. Those commenting are the same people who gave tens of thousands of dollars to fund the Aftermath Foundation. Thank you for that. Uh, Mandy, comment. This interview just sounds like Mike Rinder just walks on water and we are just ignorant because we don't see it. I think I just threw up in my mouth and I no longer have any respect for them. Yeah, how they ended the interview, it I believe it was uh, another dig, you know, another dig. Like, oh, we're all like, you know, uh, like, like, let's go after him and, and all that. Um, If he really, if he really meant, if he was really sincere, he'd say, yeah, listen, you know, I'm an open book, guys. Um, Miriam, I'm so sorry what happened to you. If I knew something and look her in the eye and just say, Miriam, I care. I care. I can't imagine the horror that you went through. And I am so sorry. I didn't stand up. You know, and if he didn't know anything, you could say, I promise I don't know, but I will, I will stand with you and I will help you find who did know, you know. Um, instead of being like, well, I invite anybody to, uh, you know, uh, go to law enforcement. Da, 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 and I'm all for this bringing Mike Rinder down and, and let's get him and all this. It's like, um, yeah, like I said, tone and attitude make a lot of difference too. And uh, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing about that. Dr. Heather helps support. Oh, thank you. Mama Bear, become a cub. <laughs> yes, I love when I get some cubs, <laughs> new cubs. Thank you to all who've joined and all of all who have gifted memberships. I really, really appreciate it. It's not like this every day, guys. We do have a lot of fun around here. And uh, if you if you're not a member and you and you can't afford, believe me, um, everyone's welcome. Everyone is welcome. No matter what. Uh, DE comment, Mike Render keeps bringing this back up. See, this seemed to be going along smoothly until they, they dropped this. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Because, and I'll put this one up too. Uncle Dave. Hey, Uncle Dave. I'm so glad you're here. Everybody seems to have an Uncle Dave. <laughs> My kids have an Uncle Dave. Oh, sorry. I'm blurry. I moved around too much. There we go. Uh, comment. Mike just can't stop talking crap about us keyboard warriors. Yes, I know. And that's the thing, guys. Is uh, I'll stop if you do, guys. You know, uh, Mike, Mike Render. Um, what the crap? Stop calling us liars. Stop calling us um names, and stop talking shit and stop just being um ridiculous, ridiculous. Joel McQueen, comment, the court of law is one thing, but the court of public opinion is another. Both of these men are guilty in the court of public opinion. Yep, I agree. And, um, you know, it could, it could be, we could all be wrong, guys. We could all be wrong. I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm not accusing him of knowing about anything. I'm not, I don't know. That's the thing. But the way Miriam was treated was absolutely unacceptable unacceptable and to this day the way she's being treated right now is unacceptable so yeah that's what i have to say about that um bow beats comment the people who come who comment also support foundations by bobbleheads make loving video montages when someone is sick <clears throat> protests, provide views to support shows, which help win Emmys, to name a few. Yep. Absolutely. Agree with that. Absolutely. 
Mischief managed question. Did Mike Rinder say anything about stepping down? He absolutely did. And if he doesn't step down and he says that he didn't, said he wasn't going to step down, or if he changes his mind, I will absolutely show the receipts. I can promise you that. But I'm trying um, to be, um, you know, respectful and not do that. I don't like to do that. Like, like I don't like to like it to do that. Sorry. I can't, I can't talk today. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mark, Marguerite. Nielsen, hi there. Comment, as an autistic person, I listen to your tone a lot. I can understand that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, I soon comment in German. We say, mm -hmm, uh, I'm really terrible at reading other languages. Okay, so that means the tone makes the music, meaning the right tone is essential. I agree with that. I absolutely do. Absolutely. And, and to me, that goes along with, um, and the more I think of it, the more angry I get, guys. Um, to me, that goes along with the fact that we're looking at two board members of a public nonprofit. I mean, I'm blue in the face, but I'm blue in the shirt, blue in the face of a public charity who is has been incorporated to help trauma survivors. Trauma survivors. They got they got to get their uh, manners in. Put your manners in, gentlemen. Put your man manners in. I mean, I don't know shit about nothing, but I know that uh, kindness wins out. And uh, that's not, not nice. It's not acceptable. And uh, I ain't about that at all. So, uh, comment, just so you know. Just so you know. So, ATAC is just another yes man for render. <clears throat> ATAC just destroyed his own reputation with the, yeah, I won't even say that word. I can't even say that word. All I can do is shake my head. Yeah. I assume, comment, Render still looks sick. I wish he would just put his ego aside and spend the time he has with his wife and young children instead of being petty and shitting all over the place. I hear you. Um, yeah. For someone who's doing the work, he's doing a lot of work to try to shut up um the the victims and the survivors. And he's doing a lot of work to and he and his friends lying about the people that, that are speaking out. Um and uh, you know. Going around the scenes with their with their friends and and some of their and even one of their employees, going and trolling the chats and uh, yeah, even as as uh, as recent as a few days ago. So uh, yeah, maybe maybe uh, the time could be well better spent. Definitely agree. Um, Wiggy E comment. Consider this: Could Mike be stirring the pot as fodder for a future book in which he paints himself as a victim of social media? He's certainly setting up that narrative. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure, but I I hear you. Buckled up, Buttercup. Comment. The last thing Miriam needs is yet another attack from Render. So sorry, Miriam. Sending hugs from Never Inland. Yes. Yes, we love you, Miriam. Like, just stop. They need to stop. Stop. Crafts, chats, and catastrophe. Okay, got it. Catastrophe. Comment. Him just saying I reacted immaturely and unkindly when Miriam had questions for me, and I regret it terribly, would have been so much better. His ego keeps pushing him off a cliff. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't unstar that. You're on your emoji queen. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I want to go back to the fun stuff, guys. I really do. Uh, literally, Cherry Bakewell, comment, as a survivor, I found that disgusting. I cannot imagine what Miriam felt like as she had to respond again to gatekeepers, enablers, and apologists. Thank you for holding space for victims. And uh, as long as I'm here, that's what I'll do. As long as I have breath <laughs> in my lungs, I will do that. I'll do that. Uh, and I know you all will too. 
Doctor Who had their comment. I say we all just ignore Mike Rinder. He is irrelevant and we have all lost trust, which breaks my heart, honestly. If we stop paying attention, he will kick and scream himself into his own demise. Yeah, I totally hear that. And um, I I um, did think that, like, what would I even bother, you know, coming on and doing this? Is it giving him, you know, legs or wings, you know? But then I thought of Miriam and I was like, I just want her to know that we stand with her. And I also want everyone to know that if it's something um, they want to talk about, I'm here, right? Um, I don't want to beat a dead horse, as they say. I don't want to prolong this. And I, I don't, it's like, unless something else happens, which this morning, something else happened. And uh, I'm here to talk about it. So um, as long as people really want to, I'm, I'm here. So, but I, to I totally get your thing. Um, there, I. There are quite a few um, issues going on right now um, with, you know, various trolls and various uh, BS and nonsense and all that, that um, I'm not giving, I'm not giving that my attention because I feel as if it does give them more um, of what they want. They want attention. Um, in Mike's case, maybe he wants us to be doing this. I don't think he really does. Um, I think that he is really grasping at straws and trying to, um, to control the narrative again. So the more he tries to control the narrative, the more, um, I think the truth and people, people that actually want to, um, ask questions should be able to speak out. So to me, that's, that's the only difference, but I, I did, I did think about it. I was like, should I bother? Should I bother? But when I get that fire in my belly and I get these, uh, the biscuits are burning. There's times that I feel, for better or for worse, right or wrong, I'm going to speak. Yes, burning that biscuit. <laughs> burning biscuits. Mm. And Shetrine MC uh, comment, put the energy to help the children and elderly still in. I agree with that. Yep. Um, Dr. Heather comment, we focus on the amazing gems who need us in the goal of ending Scientology. Yes, that is our focus. I agree with that. <laughs> Ms. Tara Green, what does spotted dick? <laughs> yes. Sorry, I don't know if I can type that. Yes, it's a um, steamed pudding. It's, an, I guess, an, an English thing, a British thing. And I ordered uh, a few things from a British distributor and got it yesterday. And I'm waiting to, to try it with uh, some Brit friends on uh, on Monday. So yeah, but it says spotted dick, steam put, put puts, puts, <laughs> yes, puts, I'm not sure, <laughs> but that's what it is. It has like raisins, I think in it. And it's sort of, from what I heard, it's a, it's a combination of custard and like uh, sponge cake? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see on Monday. Uh, comment. Just so you know, comment. John never asked Mike about seeing the SA abuse of adults. Rinder walked right past Mike Brown's mother being forced to... Yeah. It is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. And that's a good point. Oh, again, my, it just makes my stomach turn. Yeah. And I, I do... I do believe her as well. I do. Maya comment. Why didn't they invite Miriam into the conversation? On top of it, they deleted her. They did? No. No. Well, guess what? There's screenshots, guys. There's screenshots. So, um, okay. That's fine. If that is true. If that's true. Let me know. Um, I really want to know that. If it's true. Mischief managed comment. I love how Mike Render never has any receipts to show. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, yeah, I guess if you're if you're um, allegedly uh, accused of something or if you're asked about it, um, yeah, I guess an alibi would help, right? No. Oh. Uh, dawned on me comment. Let's talk about the police report that Render refused to take off his blog, which he docks Miriam until a call from a detective. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, 
yeah, even that he was like, well, you could just buy it from this. And that. It, that's not the point. It's the, again, the deflection. It's like, why did you do that? And why did you use the, um, that email? Why did he in that email to her when he accused her of, uh, holding back information and saying, I have this information from, from the lawyer, from A&E, from the production company, but I'm not going to give it you the information when I guess the information was a big nothing burger. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's, um, it's, it reeks guys to me. It still reeks. Uh, just so you know, just so you know, comment. Everybody has moved on from Render, especially Aaron, and Render can't take it. I think we should just start ignoring him. It's the worst thing that can be done to a narcissist. I hear you. I hear you. And uh, yeah, I, I am. I, I keep saying this. I'm ready to move on, and I and I do. <laughs> and then something else happens, and I, I just, you know, guys. Um, I, I guess like this morning, you know, I. My phone was blowing up as soon as it dropped. I haven't said a word. I've known about this for several days and I haven't said a word about it. Um, but then as soon as it dropped, people were blowing up my inbox. I see them on in the other chats. I see them in Natalie's chat. So like I said, if people want to talk about it, I'm not going to just sit here and talk about cake or, um, you know, Zena Marlene's or whatever. Um, if people feel like they really need to talk about something. But I agree. I'm ready to move on. I just, and like I said the other day, I. And I'm not, um, there's no love loss. I'm not holding on to it. I'm the Aftermath Foundation. They can just, you know, do whatever, do whatever they do. Not, I'm, I'm done trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I really am. And right now I'm just here for Miriam um, and all of you, you know. So, okay, guys. Uh, uh, I soon uh, comment his rage towards Aaron is easily explainable. It reminds me of my mother and ex-husband. As soon as you take away power from a narcissist, they are angry. Yeah, I agree with that. I can see that. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go down a little bit, guys, because uh, we've been on, oh, for over an hour. So I want to. You know, wrap this up in a little while. Um, okay. And Kadini, hi there. Comment. I don't know if it's true, but I heard that John Atak is on the board of the Aftermath Foundation. That is absolutely true. Yep. And it's been announced on their website. So definitely true. Um, I assume comment. Cults have black and white thinking and narcissists. No. All right, that's good to know. I could see that. Um, comment. I'm sure that Aaron's mistakes haven't all been exposed, but mistakes versus criminal knowledge are completely different. A Mike Render had knowledge of, yeah, child essay. I'm not sure about that, but I, yeah, um, I won't be surprised if if that were true. Definitely wouldn't be surprised at all. 8D comment. Did someone ever check out how much the Aftermath Foundation did versus what they received? Um, as far as I know, there hasn't been, you know, any foul play or anything. I, I don't, I've never um seen anything to that uh to that effect. You can you can obtain their 990. Um I know that our nonprofit itemizes itemizes things, even on our uh, postcard that we send in for our 990. So that that should be public, uh, publicly uh, obtainable. So, oh my, <laughs> oops, Aaron's baseboards have been exposed. <laughs> oh, what is he on now? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yes, he's exposed. Right. He's just going to continue to be exposed, those baseboards. Yeah. All about that base, <laughs> the baseboards. Uh, oh, so I just wanted to, I got more. <laughs> I have to clap, guys. I get so excited. Thank you so much, Vintage Mama of Three. Gifted five more. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so, I get so excited. <laughs> um, five more cubs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mischief Manage, gifted five more cubs. Thank you, guys. I get so excited. I really do. I love, I love my cubs. I love this. Um, 
Carrie Berry's mom, comment, didn't this happen on Mike Render's watch? Wasn't he the head? That is a an affirmative. Yes. Yes. Um, if you watch, if you haven't seen the the video, um, suggest you watch it. He does explain um his position and he said that he's not um culpable. He didn't know about these things. And yeah, even though he was the head, he 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 wasn't aware of these things. So and that Miriam's mom was hired as far as he knew as a, a lawyer. Um, I would I didn't get a chance to watch this yet because it literally just published this morning as I was getting ready to do this. But Miriam I dropped a video, released a video going through some documents. And one of them, I was just kind of skipping through it real quick. And she said that um, she showed, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, she showed a clip of him in an interview of Mike Render saying um, about a PI. And I forgot his name, Elliot something. And he was just like, oh, oh yeah, I know who he, I, I hired him. So <clears throat> when it's convenient, He'll just be very forthcoming about who he hired and what he knew and all this. And then it's like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't all add up in my mind. It just doesn't because sometimes it's just flippantly like, oh yeah, I knew about that. I hired him. I did that. And then sometimes it's just like, well, I didn't know about that. I don't know. It's just, just curious, just curious to me. Yeah. Annabelle comment, John and Mike are not as relevant with the new protesters being so effective. Yes, I agree. Yeah, who's doing the work now? Who's doing the work? I don't know. Please stand by for a sip of water here. Pup Groomer 20, comment. Hey there, Jen. Comment. So the work that I do, protest flyers, isn't work, according to Mike Grinder. He can kiss my arse. <laughs> Anything that helps is work for the victims. Yes. And thank you. Thank you so much for what you do. Because you can do the work and you can comment on the work. And you can comment on the work and you can do the work. And vice versa. Both. You can have two thoughts in your head at the same time. You can do two things at the same time. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. Black and white thinking, guys. Kimberly in Japan, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. If they have so much confidence, talk with Aaron, Serge, Miriam, Mike B, Nora, Carrie, Liz, Natalie, or to be fair, the Neverins, you or Poe. Why not? Oh, yeah, they won't. I, yeah, I would go on um, with any, yeah, I would go on with them. Um, I know any, anybody would, I know Natalie would, she would, she'd be my first pick or oh, any of them, any of them that you listed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If they're so confident and they're so, why, why not? Why not? And I, none of them will go on alive and do it. I'm sure. Um, my, uh, comment, Mike was really lucky that with all the child abuse that goes on, he never was involved in covering it up in all his years as the head of Osa, the head of the Office of Special Affairs International. I just thought I'd point that out. Um, never an SP lurking in the shadows. Hey there. Uh, comment. I thought he was going to choke when it was said that Aaron started the foundation. Yep, I hear you. I hear you. Destiny. Hey, Destiny. Comment. What struck me as so disgusting is that when... Uh, is that they didn't treat the topic of child essay as serious. It was all about protecting his ego. I'm just going to drop that there. Thank you, Destiny. Mm. Yeah. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Are you guys laughing? No. Mm. Maya, comment. It's the behavior of these people that blows my mind the most. Yeah. Mary Reno, I'm drinking tea out of my even Jesus got receipts mug. <laughs> Very appropriate. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes, I got to order one. Maybe we can uh, use them on Sundays. <laughs> yes, even Jesus got receipts. That is right. Janet from another planet question. Do you think the two of them believe what they're saying? I would say yes. 
I would say they believe it. Um, yeah, I think they've convinced themselves. I think I don't think that they've um, considered another uh, point of view. And uh, yeah, that's their that's their perception based on their their uh, perspective and their perspective based on their perception. Yeah, um, be nice for them to look at it from a different angle, you know. All right. Alyssa, hi there, Alyssa. Comment, has Mike Rinder shut down the LA test center? Uh, I don't think so. Nope. The protesters and supporters have. You can't have one without the other. Yep. I hear you. Um, yeah, talk about doing the work and getting things done. Well, what's being done? What's being done by Mike Rinder? Be besides defending himself. I I'm not really seeing it. Not really seeing it. Donna, me comment. This video was out a month ago, and Miriam has had to endure the abuse again and again. And uh, Mike Renner says, "Yes, it was on Patreon, and someone said that it was um, released in a Discord. I'm not sure if that's part of his Patreon or not. Um, yeah, and not every Discord is the the former SPTV. There's all kinds of Discord servers, so I'm not really sure about that." Um, Rhonda W, comment, ask Miriam to use her picture or channel icon as emoji. Hmm. Yeah, I could ask her. Also, I guess what we could do is like like a special gem, right? Uh, what's her favorite color? Or maybe like, yeah, like a nice gem, like a ruby or something. Because uh, her channel has that really, really nice bright red. Yeah, I think that would be nice. We need some more gems. I can work on that. <clears throat> Karmic piece. If this has already been answered, sorry, but why did the video only get released now if it was done in February? That's a good question. That's a good question. I, I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know if you'll get any answers, <laughs> but yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, Caroline, comment, at the very beginning when Mike was saying, uh, dealing with Miriam and her father way back uh, when was, okay, way back when was not important, not only shocked me, it really pissed me off. Love you. <laughs> right back at you. Yeah, he's saying dealing with Miriam and her father way back when was not important. Yeah, I think it's all important. It's so, certainly important to Miriam, you know. Emily W42. Hi there. Uh, comment. Oh, Mike, it took so long for you to gain my trust and respect and less than one minute to lose it. Stop. Please stop. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Amanda Mangles. Hi there. Uh, you're more orange. <laughs> you're more entertaining. Even when I stumble my words all the time, more entertaining to watch than blown for good ever was. Thank you. <laughs> wow. High praise. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And uh, it's not always this intense, <laughs> but uh, we, we do have a lot of fun. I like to laugh, but today I'm having a hard time um, just laughing. Not, I'm not laughing today, um, but you guys cheer. You guys cheer each other up and you cheer me up. I love it. I'm so glad you're here. Um, cuddly Floofage uh, comment. I wonder how long it'll take John attack to see why see why he's being utilized by mike render his personal stock is plummeting from one video uh mike render is a black hole you get near enough you'll be destroyed i hear you joel mcquain comment a, a narcissist is never wrong always the one who should be listened to Always the smartest one. Attacking others is the way they act. They can never admit to anything. Always deflect and lie. Mandy Gonzalez, comment. Letting us know about the latest attacks on victims isn't drama. It's shining a light on the shadows and bringing actions and comments of people that they would rather be kept in the dark. Sometimes silence is not golden. No, sometimes silence covers up um, a world of evil, a world of evil. 
and uh, I'm not going to shut up. If I feel like I need to speak, no one is going to tell me, especially people who act like the behaviors that we're talking about right now. And they're flying monkeys. And I think the flying monkeys know who they are. So that's what I'll say about that. <clears throat> Chris 10 M comment. Marilyn, thank you so much for stepping in care, stepping up and caring for those that need you most and always doing what is best for mental well-being. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you all um, for doing the same, you know, for being here. Emma Robson. Hi there, Emma. Comment. I'm here as a commenter supporter and I stand behind the exes. Uh, second gens and protesters never in, but here to help where we can. I love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Uh, just so you know, unrelated question. How's the best way to learn to crochet? My mom passed before she could teach me and I want to learn. I, um, I'm a terrible teacher myself. I've been told that I hold the, I hold the yarn weird and yeah, I'm not really good at showing people, but I, I have learned certain stitches that I didn't know by watching um, YouTube, watching YouTube videos because they, they show like a good angle and there's a lot of, of uh, crocheting tutorials out there that you can check out. I'll have to um, look at a few and try to see um, ones that I would recommend. You can look into that. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Marlene Sweeney. All right there. Mike Render is my best friend. Okay, Marlene Sweeney. Mar Marlene Sweeney uh, was my cult leader, and uh, I guess she's popped into the chat and uh, is defending Mike Render, which I could, I could, I could see that happening. I could see that happening, but um, just for old time's sake, can we do a, can we have a Zini Marlene? I was not planning on doing this because uh, we're super serious today, but why not? Who, uh, Everybody partake, whether you have, uh, oh, sorry, I'm blurry again. There we go. Uh, if you have coffee, tea, uh, wine, whatever you have, uh, as Chow Yun Smut would say, potato chip, anything. I see Kelly, will you have water? Good girl. I don't know where my hubby went. <laughs> Here's my defective mug with the giant biscuits that are cut off. And wait, and then, yeah. I just felt a little off sorts today, so I put my defective mug in, <laughs> with my coffee in it. So, yes, cheers, everybody. And uh, for those of you who knew Doug Scott Kramer from Days But Not Confused, we do this in honor of him. Um, we um, lost him in, in December, and uh, this was his idea <laughs> to do Zeno Marlene, and um, he was a good friend. So so I always think of him when we do when we do those, the Zeno Marlenes. Yeah. Okay. What do I want to go next? I got a few more comments we can do here. Inappropriate half, a good friend of ours, of mine at least. Oh, you just woke up. That's okay. You were a dirty stay up last night. So was I. I think I went to sleep around 5 a.m. So uh, yeah, I was a little late getting on today. Uh, I have a lot of catching up to do apparently. I know. Yeah, you can't go to sleep, half because you leave me unsupervised. Look what happens. That's what I tell Kelly all the time, you know. Yeah, they go to sleep. And, uh, and I told you, I was unsupervised on the loose. Psych sauce. Comment. If Mike Render is so innocent, he needs to address it live. And beforehand, bring the dang receipts. Burning biscuits, burning biscuits, burning biscuits. I hear you. I hear you. I think that's what I would do. I don't know. Cuddly Floofitch is blocked from uh, Mike Render's blog. Yep. Truth darts with evidence. Not allowed. Okay. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Chris 10 M comment. I can't wait for the SBTV foundation to have phone number and email. So processors can start screaming it out. Yes. Yes. I agree with that. Totally. Oh, um, okay. It's, it's on. It's, it's, shit's gone down now. Mama is pissed. I mean, you, you make mama of mama's life matter than a wet hand guys. It's yeah. 
it's on it's on like donkey kong and uh mama i would love your input in this and um, if you um do a live let me know please let me know and i'll check it out and uh yeah if anyone has not subscribed to at mama's life i would highly recommend that because she is uh she's the grandma of this space i'm i guess i'm the mama bear she's the grandma and uh i always want to know what mama has to say and she be madder than a wet hen I don't know about a wet hand, but I, that sounds pretty mad. Pretty mad. Blake, Balake, Balake's here. All right. Balake. Hi. Uh, a message to you, Miriam. We will not stand for Mike Render's chicken shit moves, not until he answers you on your channel. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Blakey. Balake, Blake. Oh, hey there. Hey, Sin. Big supporter um, of SPGV, of, as you're saying, of Mike Rinder. Absolutely. Oh, hell no. This is uh, Sin from Simply Good. Comment. I was the one behind the idea of the Get Well Soon video to Mike Rinder. I remember you were the first, I think you were the first one shown on that. Do I regret doing, doing so? In some ways, no. I would wish good vibes for anyone suffering cancer. Um, but would I do it again? Oh, hell no. I hear you. I hear you. And thank you for that. Um, yes. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, it was done in, in uh, good faith. And uh, I do want to point out, though, I believe, I'm, you know, I could be mistaken. I could stand corrected here. But I do believe that the treatment that people, you know, gave to uh, funds for, um, I believe it was experimental, which is also the treatment that uh, Miriam uh, was is getting uh, is also also experimental. Um, yeah, I don't know why one's okay, one's not. I I don't know. I, I just thought I I would you know put that out there because one of the other new um, foundation board members, Stephanie Hutchinson, had made a big deal about the uh, about the treatment that Miriam was getting was not uh, FDA approved or um, in was experimental and uh, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering what's, what the truth is on that. And it seems like she was very highly supportive of, of Mike getting this, you know, um, experimental treatment. So hmm. goose or gander, pot or kettle. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Colleen ring, ring rose. Hi there question was this interview done before atac was appointed to the board quid pro quo that's a good question and i believe the answer is yes i'm willing to bet at least um this video was recorded before it before he was announced as a board member i'm pretty sure of that again i don't have the exact dates but i'm willing i'm confident in saying yes so, okay. Just so you know, comment. I like to see Render tell Good that uh, his protesting isn't doing the work. I would too, guys. I would too. Um. So I think um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, we're almost at an hour and a half, and um, I appreciate you all being here. I um, think we covered a lot of ground and uh, you, you're all welcome to, um, if I didn't read your comment and you really want to comment, absolutely comment in in the, the video um, as soon as this is over, the video below. And uh, hmm, maybe I'll play the outro. <laughs> maybe that'll cheer us up. And um, everybody, anybody needs to get a hold of me? You can, oh, Kelly's saying yes. Um, Anyone needs to get a hold of me, you can you can email me at coffee calls and crafts. And uh yeah, have a good day. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Come tomorrow and we'll have a we'll have a good time. We will have a good time. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Let me set this up. Bye, have a great day. <music>
Now, my hobby makes the coffee.